Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Draw Two. My name is Ramni, and this is another episode of Mini How to Draw, the show where I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step by step instructions. If you guys like what you see on this channel and you want to see more tutorial videos like this, please hit that subscribe button down below. It would help me a great deal. For this tutorial, as usual, what you guys need is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking afterwards. And of course, as you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can hit that pause button at any time so that you guys can pause the video and catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And also, if your artwork looks a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. So having said all of that, you guys, grab your drawing tools and let's get started with the tutorial. For this Aquaman tutorial, we're going to be having our paper in portrait mode. This time we're going to be drawing the full body, although it's a little bit foreshortened because we're going to be drawing him swimming and lunging at us uh, with his trident or his spear. So let's get started. Um, by drawing a circle at the top, about this big, and it's going to be at the center. So try to center it uh, in the middle of your page here, but closer, about this far up at the top. So there's the circle right there. Two lines going down the sides of the face. And then I'm going to close that in and make a very square draw, just like that. I'm going to draw a line going down so we know where the center is. So there's the face right there. From here, from the side, I'm just going to draw a bump like this and like that okay let's go over here now we're going to draw the shoulder on this side and it's about we're only going to have it go out as far as maybe up to here not too big then we'll go back over here and draw a line coming out like that a curved line so we're going to make that curved like this we're going to close the sh shoulder so that it looks like that so this is going to be where the chest is we're going to continue that chest muscle it goes down like this and right around here it changes directions and it goes this way so there's the chest. Let's go over here and let's figure out where his shoulder is going to go. I'm going to find a point right here, kind of um, starting, start off right here at the uh, at the chin point and then move slightly to the left and down. So we're going to start right here and we're going to draw an oval that is about the same width as his face. So width about this big, you want this to roughly be the same. Okay. So there's the oval for the shoulder right there. We're going to draw Beneath that, we're going to create this, um, another bump like this. This is going to be the bicep. And right here is going to be the, the tricep. So this goes a little bit bigger. And then right here is going to be where the arm is. And you want the arm to go across. Just draw a line going straight across, crossing the, the chest that we did earlier. So it looks like that. Okay. From here, just a slight little curve like this. And then going here now, we're going to bring this down. We're going to find the elbow here somewhere. Let's go back over here. And right where your forearm crosses the chest, we're going to find a wrist right around here. So here's the wrist right there. And then now we can shape this going down and then goes up. And where it meets right here is the elbow. Okay. So let's go back over here now and let's continue this, the, the back sort of sort of goes around this muscle right here. This actually goes in like that as well. So this little circle that goes in like that. And here's the back muscle coming out this way. It's a little too much actually, so let's fix that. Okay, so it goes like that. Here's a back muscle right there. And then you wanna go in, down, and right here. It's one little, tiny little straight line going like that. And then we're gonna go from here now. We're going to just draw the rest of the torso and it goes down to there actually right here is where we're going to end it and then the center we want the center to be right around here so this is where we're going to draw his um his aquaman buckle shape so let's uh, start giving this a curve like this and here like that so it should start looking like this okay we can start we can draw a triangle right here just to get ready for drawing the Aquaman logo on his belt. And let's draw his belt while we're at it. So let's bring that down and let's bring this out that way. There's the belt right there. Okay, so let's draw the feet before we draw the hands. And as usual, what we're doing is we're drawing the, um, blocking the shapes before we get to the details. Okay, so now let's go here, bring a line, a curved line coming out from, from the corner right here and it goes out. And we're going to find the little crotch line right there. 
Okay, so measure from here going down about this far down. Now this goes up like that, and this goes like this. Okay, it is supposed to be small because his body is sort of starting, it's tilting away from us. So the head, this arm, and the head is closer to us than the legs. Okay, so let's go over here, little line going like this. We're going to start shaping the thigh, little line, and then this goes out. So we're going to shape this thigh so that it points down to here. And we want the knee to be right around here. Actually, let's change that. I want the knee to okay, imagine this line right here. I want the knee, if you draw a line going straight down, I would like the knee to be right here on this side. So very far away from that point. Okay, so we're going to change everything so that it, so that this is very far away from the knee. Okay, so you want the knee to almost be underneath the A, uh, the, the belt buckle. Okay, here's the knee, a little bump for the leg right there. And this goes like that. Okay, we're gonna find the leg or the foot is just going to be behind, kind of appearing just like that. So it's very tiny compared to the rest of the body. Now let's move on to this leg and this leg is going to be smaller from here now. It goes like this. And then here, I'm just going to create this little triangle where this point right here, I'm going to draw the knee just like that. From here, a little curve like this. And just goes up straight. Okay, so there you go. Here goes out, curves, and then going back over here. This also curves. So you want to create this almost a circle shape right here. So it looks like that. And then from inside or from behind it, we're just going to draw a leg or a foot, two lines coming down, they get a little wider, and then they come in closer. Just like that. So this little curve right here is longer than this curve. Okay, so there's the pose for the legs. Now let's do the hands. And the hands are, they're a little tricky because what you want to do is you want the you want to draw the, the trident and it's supposed to come this way, but you want to make sure that you have your hands aligned. So let's make sure that we do that first. We're going to start right here. Here's the shoulder. Right here is where we're going to draw the bicep. So he's got his hand behind him. Okay coming out there and then goes like this and go back over here it comes out like this so we're going to shape that keep shaping it until you get a forearm and then i'm going to find the wrist right around here actually let me bring that lower down and just one more down like this so there you go so now i'm going to draw the hands and then once we figure out the hands then we can draw the trident okay so start over here this goes down and then at an angle goes like this this one goes across around like that let's do that for now we're going to roughly i'm going to draw a, an upside down c or a c on its side i guess you could call it like a half circle right there that's kind of where i want the um the trident to come out okay right here is going to be the the wrist bring that out this goes out as well. So this almost is very close to this other hand, but the way that he's holding it, it you, you know that this little handle right here is longer. Okay, it goes up, changes directions like this. This goes down like that and it curves and then just goes like this. And here is where I want it to come out. So imagine this one being a little bit smaller than this. And then now we can draw a line. Feel free to use a ruler for this, you guys. I really should use a ruler, but I'm just uh, practicing my non-ruler drawing. So it, it the width starts to get narrow as you go further away. And as you can see, I'm definitely, like I'm not skipping the hands, I'm drawing right through the hands and I'll be erasing those lines later on. Okay, so I want it to be about that far. Okay, I'm gonna draw a circle at the end of it and another half circle at the end of that. Okay. Now this one gets wider and wider as you go down. Okay. 
Okay. Over here now. This is going to be a moon shape. But you want this one, this spot right here, to be narrower than this. So this part is longer. That's because of the way that it's angled. So there you go. And then here to there. Okay. So there's that. And then a little bit of space right here. And then from here, now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one like this. And then this is more of a curve. You want to make sure that these curves are similar. So this curve and this curve should be about the same. And this curve and this curve should be about the same as well. Let's do those first curves initially. And then now I'm going to draw the inside first so that we know how we're going to shape our trident. So this is kind of difficult to explain. It's not symmetrical because of the way that he's holding the trident. It's tilted. And when you tilt it, it sort of creates this weird, um, weird shape. And in order, in order for the trident to look right at an angle, you need to follow those. Uh, you kind of need to learn how to draw these things if they were tilted like this. Okay, so here's Here's what I want. Now, at the end, you kind of want this to be the same distance as this from the center. Okay? And then now let's follow this curve going this way, and then this curve follows this like that. And then he's got two more starting right here. Kind of goes out like this. And here it goes out like that. And then over here, it's actually down here. So imagine this line at a tilt. So this is where you want the other side to come out. So it comes out like that and like that. Okay. Now, this line right here that we did, we're going to draw, we're going to draw it here as well. And then we're going to draw it over here as well. <clears throat> okay. Right here, I'm going to bring this this way, and then I'm going to have it go straight across or straight down. Okay. Same thing over here. It's going to go in like this, and then it goes down like that. Okay, you want to end it right around here. So I'm going to draw another line right here. This goes in like that, and then here, this goes in. And now I'm going to erase these parts. You erase these as well. So it looks like this. Okay, okay, right here. We're going to draw from here to a point over here, and then here to a point over here. Okay, and then imagine the line going straight, and we're gonna have it go at this point right here. From here now, we're going to draw a curve to there, and here a curve to that point. All right, over here, line, little line going across, it goes like that. Right here, goes out like this, and then from there, to this point. And then lastly, this and this. Okay, so imagine this line going like that. And we're going to draw an arrow shape like that. And like this. And you want to end those off around the same, same line as well. So that's his trident right there. Okay, this is probably the hardest part in all of Aquaman's uh, drawing, to be honest with you guys. I wasn't quite sure how to explain it. I hope I did a good job, good enough job anyway. So here you go, you guys. Let's start with the details now, starting with the head. And let's draw the hairline, and I want that hairline to be lower than usual. So here's, I'm just going to make a line like that. I'm going to erase the circle at the bottom, or the bottom of that circle. Here's the forehead. Okay, that's a good size for the forehead. And here's the eye line right there. Okay, we're going to draw brow, and we want him to be rather angry. And I'm, gonna, I'm just going to draw two lines from here going out that way so that we know this is going to be the front of the face, and these are the sides of the face. Okay. That goes out like this. I'm just going to draw a tiny little line like that. Okay, here's the other eyebrow. I'm making it thick now because it is the eyebrow. Just to shaping the hairline a little better. 
I'm gonna draw two tiny lines right here that go out to the side of the face, two lines, and then goes out to the side. Let's draw the eyes. We'll make the this line straight and then this one curved. Okay, so this line is straight and then the bottom is curved. And then I'm gonna draw a half circle at the top of those eyes. And, all right, so now here's where we're going to draw the, the nose. And I'm gonna draw that, just a little line across and then just two lines, two, two lines coming out at an angle, just like this. So there's the nose right there. I'm gonna draw a tiny little line going down. So that's the bridge of the nose. And right here, and right here, we're going to draw the mouth. Now you guys see that I've got no space for the chin. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring that a little bit lower. If you guys have space, feel free to uh, not, not, not bring the chin lower, but I'm just bringing it lower so I can have room for the mouth. I'm gonna have him with his teeth grinding so I'm gonna draw a line up at the top like that, and then I'm gonna bring it down, make a frown. And then down here, two lines right there, and then I just curve it so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna draw a line in between, that's his teeth, and I'm going to color that in, color this in, just the edges. Now for the teeth, um, it's a better thing to not draw the individual teeth. Don't do that, because it just looks weird if you do that. So just imply that his teeth are grinding by drawing the um, where the teeth meet and just the gum line at the bottom. All right. Okay. Right here. I'm going to draw a line going out like that. Here's the line for the lower lip. I'm not going to draw it all the way and then find the chin. Now here's my chin. Shape it nicely. All right. I'm going to find the cheek it goes like this. And here's the cheekbone. And then the jawline. And there you go. I'm going to give him a couple of facial wrinkles right there. And then now let's find the ears and the ears are going to be higher than usual. So right here is a good spot. Out and then in like that out goes down and then in make sure they're the same height same size there you go now let's draw the hair there's golden locks of hair and i'm just going to draw a couple of strands going curving in like this like that i'm gonna draw a little point right here now, because he's swimming towards us, his hair is kind of flowing back like that. So we're just going to draw his hair going back like that in a wave. And then draw the sideburns, draw the details in the ears, curve at the top, curve at the bottom. There's Aquaman's face right there. Now let's draw his muscles. I'm going to start right here. I'm going to erase this right there. I'm going to erase a little part of that oval at the top as well. I'm going to draw another muscle line right here, the neckline. Here's the back. Okay, right here is the deltoids. Okay, curve like this and it goes out to there. From the top now, well, before we, before we do that, let's go to the chin here and let's, about right here is going to be where his the center of his body is going to be and it's going to go like this and it sort of curves to there so his chest kind of goes up like that okay now right here this goes to this point right here so that's his collarbone and then from here his collarbone sort of goes just goes up to here okay let's reshape this Just reshaping those. I'm going to add a little bump right here so that it looks like that. Of course, he's got scales on his uh, orange golden top. Okay, right here, a curve like this, that curve, and then this, like that. So think of a pumpkin, so it kind of looks like that. From here to there 
just like that. Now here, I'm going to draw a line like this. So that's the bottom of the tricep. Here's the tendon. And here's from here, I'm going to draw a curve going out. That's one of the tricep muscles. Tri means three. So there are three muscles here. So you want to find that shape over here. Now I'm going to draw two lines going like this. And here's the bicep. Bicep means two. So there are two muscles. Okay, let me erase these lines. And let's find the glove. Here's where it starts. And I want this, I'm gonna draw it uh, to kind of to the left of the elbow here. So here's a curve that looks like that. I'm gonna bring this to about here, this point right here. From here, I'm gonna draw a curved line going in like this. Now this one I want kind of above the letter A, so here. Letter A, I mean this triangle right here. Okay, I want this one to kind of go into this line. Okay, now here's the some wrinkles on the glove. I'm going to draw a line from the elbow going in like that. Here's the other forearm line. Here's another little forearm line right there. Okay, over here on the wrist, I'm going to draw a couple of wrinkles. And I want this to go up across to that point. And now from here, I'm going to draw a line, a diagonal line going diagonal across the uh, the handle of the trident. Okay, a little bump here goes this way. Now over here goes, you want to angle it down. And then here, angle it down. And you should come across. Okay. Um, right here, you want this to be the width of a pinky. I'm going to draw a line right there and right here. So there's the pinky right there. Okay. And then just reshape your fingers and slowly work your way up. Okay. Goes like that. Over right here goes this way. And then here, like that. So that's what it should look like. Now let's go, let's go to this part of the arm now. Okay, from here, it goes like that. From here, two lines like this. Okay, start over here, we're going to draw the glove and it goes like that to there. And then here, to there. This goes in like this, and then a little line going straight down. Okay, wrist wrinkles. Okay, from here, just go straight this way. Now let's go back to the elbow. Here's the elbow there. You go like that. But from here, I'm gonna draw a little line going in like that. Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna draw a line from here going into the wrist. Just a faint one. Okay, now let's do the hand. It goes out like this and like that. So here's the thumb. It goes like that. Now right here, the line going like this. And I'm going to draw from here, I'm gonna draw a curve that goes like that. And then from that curve, we're gonna draw each individual finger. So here's the pointer finger or the index. Here is the middle finger. And then here's the ring finger. And then the last finger we don't really see, we're just gonna draw the knuckle. And it looks like that. Erase that, so now you've got that. Looking good so far. Let's go over here. Let's give his uh, Aquaman symbol some definition here. Let's zoom in. Here we're going to draw a circle like that, where the bottom of the circle touches the bottom of the triangle in the center. Okay, now from here, the bottom of the circle curve to there, and then here just curves in to the bottom of that circle again. I'm going to double up on the line at the top, and that's pretty much it. So from here now, let's continue. I'm going to draw two lines going across at the top and at the bottom to the side. Okay, right here, two lines there, two lines at the top as well. This one's the version with a slight, kind of looks like underwear, so we are going to give it some shape, but not too much. So 
We'll start at the crotch, draw a line going out to there. Let's start shaping this leg. So here's one of the thigh muscles right there. Let's draw the knee. I'm going to draw a line down here. A line like that, so it looks like a T. Okay, it goes in like this. Just like that. Now over here, it goes in like this, doesn't touch this, and it goes back out to here. And where, where this meets the outside line, I'm going to reshape that so that you have these two bumps that look like this. And then right here, where this line meets here, change direction slightly. Okay, now right here, I'm just going to give it a little rougher shape for the kneecap. And that's it. Maybe another line right there. And then we're done with that. Now over here, here's this line we did initially. Okay, going this way. There's a line going in like this. Right here, there's a line going like this and then out like that. And then here, just the line going in like this, okay? Now, let's just reshape that and draw that in. Let's draw the knee at an angle right there, top as well. Okay, here's the little calf shape line going right here. I want this line to go straight down and then reshape that other calf. So it looks like that. And there you go. We're about done with that. Let's just draw another shape there. Or a little line right there. And that's it, you guys. We're done. Let's for the uh, the scales on uh, on the top of his uh, or on his chest or on his uh, upper body. The trick is to not um, not go all the way around with it. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to just give it some subtle shape at random spots. Okay, so I'm going to go here at the bottom of this chest. And the way that you do it is, well, let's go over here and I'll show you how. Okay, just make these U shapes that sort of go around. And then um, and then you draw the one beneath it. So here's one line of these U shapes. And then you go right in between now. So you go from here to there. Okay, from here to there. So the bottom layer is kind of meets in between uh, yeah, it just meets in between this the curve right here, right in the middle. So right here, here's the middle of that, where it's a, the lowest, like that. Another curve, another curve, curve. Okay. Now, like I said, we're not going to do it for all of the, the top. We're just going to do it at uh, some select places. Just so we know that it's scaly. So you just keep going. So I'm just going to draw it like that. And when you draw it, you guys don't just uh, don't just draw one straight line, but to add layers to it. So this is a good example right here where I drew this line first, but then I drew a line up at the top so that it doesn't look so straight. And then just two at the bottom, one down here, and then another two across. So um, So you guys, so you guys can see, I'm just being very selective where, with where I want to place it. Actually, I think I'm going to erase this one right here. Looks better if it's just on the outside. So it's almost like I'm using these to make shadows. Now, you guys, I did it wrong. Oh, sorry, that was off camera. All right, so I kind of erased this part right here. But uh, um, as you go down this arm, you need to tilt your picture so that. Your, your scales look like this, okay? Because it's supposed to change direction because you've got your arm going uh, tilted in a different direction. Okay. down here the same thing I forgot let's draw a couple of lines going just for the side and the abs so here's there you don't really get to see much of the abs 
but let's just draw a couple of lines going in like that. Okay, and then the scales are going to be smaller because they're further away than these scales on the chest. So it'll look like that. And I think I'm going to leave it at that, you guys. Once you have that, we're, we're done. And that's it. And that is how you draw Aquaman from the comics. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please go over to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there or head on to Instagram and tag me in any of your art so that we can see it and so everyone can see it and we can all enjoy your masterpieces. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make these videos or to do my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. Clicking on those links helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you feel like being extra generous and you want to support this channel even more, I now have links to my art store down below, draw2.storeenvy.com. Plus I have links to merchandise that you can buy such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads with the Draw2 logo on them. And I now have a Patreon page, so if you guys feel like supporting me on Patreon, I have a link to that down below as well. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you guys subscribe. Like I said in the beginning, here in this channel, I show you how to draw your favorite characters and easy to follow, simple step-by-step step instructions. So if you guys like what you see, please hit that subscribe button below. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a coloring page of this tutorial, plus all the other tutorials that I have in this channel. Again, you guys, all of those links are found down in the description below. Again, thank you one more time, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.